It gives me a great pleasure to introduce this next gentleman. Boy, we started out, like I said, over 20 years ago in the city of Philadelphia. Now he's up in New York. He's been on the Apollo Comedy Hour. He's been on BET. He's got his own specials, and uh, I'm really, really thrilled to have him. Please welcome uh, to the stage, Mr. Ronnie Long. Thank you. Applause for Al Kaz over 20 years, my friend. Yes, yes, he ain't from Boston. I'm from Philly, West Philly. West Philly, anybody from Philly? Will Smith. I used to whip his ass and take his money. They ain't Hollywood, and I'm in Gloucester. That's my buddy right there. Rob Long? We got two porno stars in here, me and Rob. <laughs> That's the official porno star music. <laughs> and anything leads to sex, you always see the music. I'll be in the library. Hey, how you doing? He drops the book. <gasps> and you can tell when you got a cheap porno. Now you can tell you got a cheap porno when you're watching a video and the scenes start repeating itself. You be like, wait a minute, I just seen that shit. <laughs> Something like this. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, oh yeah, do it, do it, do it, yeah, baby. Oh, oh, do it, do it, do it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah do it, do it. That's a cheap porno. <laughs> and I'm from West Philly, like I said, West Philly. And I've been living in Philly like all, I live in New York now, but I've been living in Philly like I grew up in Philly. And I found out like the names of the sections in Philly are the opposite of what the neighborhood is like. Like I got shot in Nice Town. <laughs> Old City is always building a brand new building. <laughs> Germantown is a bunch of Africans. <laughs> and Fishtown smells like pork. What's going on? Here? <laughs> Philadelphia. Mayor Michael Nutter, Michael Nutter, the mayor of Philadelphia, who not only sounds tough on crime, but who also sounds like Bert from Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, cool. you know Michael Nutter about to sound like Bert? Good evening. <laughs> I said good evening. I'm Michael Nutter. I'm here to provide services for the city of Philadelphia and the city of Philadelphia. <laughs> Sunny days, sleep in all kinds of ways. Come and play, everything's hey, okay. That's Bert! <laughs> Philadelphia! You know what I mean? I'm up in New York, you know, I'm surrounded by like Giants fan. I'll be the only one, man. We kicked Dallas ass on a m m Monday, right? Yeah. We just gotta get that Super Bowl, man. We were waiting for how long? I think, you know what? I think when the Eagles win the Super Bowl, I think God is gonna let the Eagles fans that died come down for the weekend and party and go back to heaven. They been waiting too long. God is gonna make an exception to the rules. He's like, hey, come on, y'all come down, party for the parade and go back. Eagles been waiting for a long time, boy. And the, and the average Eagles, average Cowboys fan is some short, cocky, oh. arrogant guy. Ain't he? The arrogant, you somebody like 4'11", talk a lot of shit, you wanna just kick him in the ass? <laughs> well, we got the, uh, the Sixers, you know, like the Sixers, you know, and the, um, and the Flyers. Philly? Phillies. Oh, yeah, Woo! give it to the Philly. Let's go, we'll be back. We'll be back. And now, and see, and, and, yeah, they end up in New York, you know what I mean? See, in New York, I love, New York is cool too, but I'm telling you, I, you talking about planet of the uh, rise of the apes, that's just like rise of the rats out there. They got some rats <laughs> out there. You know, I can tell New York got a lot of rats because you see rats where you, don't, where you don't normally supposed to see rats. Like when you wait for the subway on the train, on the platform, I'm used to seeing rats where? On the tracks. 
That's rat territory. Hi, rat, rat, you know, throwing peanuts at rat on the track. In New York, the damn rat be on the platform waiting for the train too. Like, where's this train at? <laughs> and it's it like it's only shocking to me that it's a rat waiting for the train. Everybody else in New York used to that. I'm like, yo, you see that fucking rat waiting for the train? They be like, oh, that's Mr. Williams, man. <laughs> So I got me a female cat. Oh, excuse me, am I, am I interrupting the show? <laughs> Where you learn how to whisper at? The airport? <laughs> but, so, got rats in New York, so I had to get me a cat. I got me a female cat. Second week I get her, she goes in the heat. You ever see a female cat in heat? That is some creepy, freaky stuff. <laughs> I wish women was that obvious when they got horny. That'd have saved me a whole lot of money. <laughs> so, Tanya, what you wanna do tonight? I know what we doing tonight. <laughs> and I love cats too, man. Cause cats don't do nothing, they don't do shit until they smell it first. Like, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, bring it on down. <laughs> And it's only three reactions a cat have after they smell something. It's the, I don't care smell, like, whatever. <laughs> then it's a smell so good, I gotta lick it smell, like. <laughs> then you ever see a cat do this? It smells so good, the fucking cat mouth pops open. You ever see that shit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what's that about? Is that an invitation for a closure? I don't know, what's that about? But the cats are the funniest when they're in the litter box. And I would do it tonight, but these jeans are too damn tight. <laughs> my nuts would be all up in my navel somewhere. <laughs> the cats be digging in the litter box like. <laughs> y'all nasty, y'all watch y'all cat shit. Cause you wouldn't be laughing at your damn joke. <laughs> Excuse my stomach, I know I'm, I'm trying to lose weight, but the more I try to hide this, the more the obvious is that I'm fat. <laughs> like every time I try to take a picture, I say, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me hold my gut in. Hold my gut in, guess what happened? Titties pop out, still look fat. <laughs> this is my baby right here, boy, you know what I'm saying? And I'm glad to be here doing comedy, I love this, this is what I do. Hopefully one day I get on David Letterman. If not, I will be on America's Most Wanted. <laughs> Either way, I'm giving me a TV credit, so I don't care. <laughs> and, and you know, getting locked up is crazy. You don't want to get locked up because the media make you look bad. You ever watch the news or something, they show a brother going to jail, but they always put it in slow motion so the brother look real bad. You ever watch the news or something, they show the brother on the news? Come out in handcuffs, trying to best to look cool, slow motion like this. She opened up her eyes real wide and smiled. She like the number three on a domino. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> love them chocolate. I love big girls too. 400, 500 pounds. I had one girl, she was 800 pounds. She farted, I moved to Texas. <laughs> And big girls are funny. You ever know those big girls are very picky about what they eat? They be at a party talking about, oh, I don't eat everybody's potato salad. I'm like, well, bitch, you eating a lot of somebody something. You know what I'm <laughs> and I hate when they use cold words for being, come on, you fat, come on. You're not big boned, you're fat. 
You're not plus size. You're fat with plus, what, plus a thousand pounds? You're not heavy set. You're fat. You're not a BBW or BBB, a burger biting baby. That's what you are. And you can tell the big girls on Facebook because they got nothing but super, super close ups of their face. No long shots. They don't mess around with long shots. I don't do that Facebook. Anybody do Facebook? Who? You Facebook? I like Facebook. But people are too, I like Facebook. People are too fake happy on Facebook. You're too fake. You ain't that happy. You ain't happy all the time. You ever see somebody posting? Just left the gym feeling great. <laughs> Just left church. God is good. Come on, put some real stuff up. Come on, let. Just left the doctors. I'm fucked up. <laughs> Left court, see you in 20 years. <laughs> Facebook. I ain't fake. Come on, that's gay. I'm not gonna poke no grown man. That's gay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna poke Bill. Come on. <laughs> Crazy. You know what I mean? And so, you know, living up in New York, I live in Harlem now, actually. I live in Harlem. And it's, it's a nice area. You know, it's, it's the only thing it is, is the building is nice, but it's this lady downstairs, she's always blasting her radio. You know what I mean? And I'm like, why are you black? And it wouldn't be so bad if she was blasting music, because you know you hear your favorite song, you're like, oh yeah, turn it up. Yeah. Right? She's downstairs blasting talk radio. Why do you feel a need to black? Are you that lonely? You want people to think it's somebody else in the house talking to you? That fucking lonely? She blasted talk radio. Like when you call in, I, I, I try to get it turned down, I bang on the floor, she turns it up loud. I go downstairs and knock on the door, she don't come to the door. So finally, I end up calling the talk radio show and giving this bitch my message on the air. <laughs> that shit worked too. It's Rush Limbaugh or Rush Limbaugh, talent all alone from God. Our next caller is Ron from Harlem. I know Ron. I know Ron. Love your show. But can you tell the bus bitch that lives here in Harlem at 215 West 25th Street to turn this damn radio down? That would be a fart bus. He farted because he covered his nose and said, <laughs> Don't. Okay, you know accidents happen. I smell that shit. Do they fart it? No more chicken parmesan for him. No more fat cheese. That's what I'm stinking for. That'll that fuck up the guy. Fuck up the. Oh, you fart, dude. That's it. Stink. Can't leave. Afraid though. Shoot it.